i meters per second. So from here, we can immediately plug into our equation, right? So what, what, what do we have? We have our VBI, right? We have our VB, we have our, our RCB. Okay, so we don't know what is our VC. We don't know what is our omega VC. So VCI or VC, we know both are negative. Okay, so we will write down minus 0 0.707. Yeah. Minus by 0 0.707. Right. And then this is equal to minus 1.5i plus and we are going to assume right minus omega bc uh, in the k direction cross we have 0 0.13 i plus 0 0.224 j okay so from here we have minus 0 0.707 VCI minus by 0 0.707 VCJ. And this will be equal to minus 1.5I. Uh, K cross I is positive, that's a negative. So minus uh, 0 0.13 omega VCJ. And J cross, oh, sorry, K. I have to be careful down here. K cross J is negative. You have a negative down here will be positive. 0 0.224 omega BCI. Okay. So that's all we are, we are left with. So we start by looking at our J component. So J component over here, we have minus 0 0.707 BC. And then we have our so still J component minus 0 0.13. And we have our uh, omega BC. And then if we were to write our I component, This will be equal to minus 0 0.707 BC. And over here, this will be equal to minus 1.5. Then minus 0 0.224 omega BC. Okay. Is it positive? Yep, you're right, it's positive. So now what we have here is we have equation one and we have equation two. So now we're going to solve this using what? Simultaneous equation with here. Okay. We're going to solve this in terms of simultaneous equation. So we know that BC Okay, we go and we know that note from equation one, right? Vc is equal to what? Uh, zero point one three omega Bc divided by zero point seven zero seven. So this will be equal to zero point one three. 0 0.184 omega BC. Okay. And then from here, do I have space? Okay, I'll let you guys finish copying first. So I'm going to take the whole thing over here. I'm going to paste to the next page, okay? So we have our VC is equal to 0 0.184. So we're going to substitute. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to substitute VC will be equal to what? 0 0.184 omega VC into equation 2. Right? So when that's the case, we have minus 0 0.707 multiplied by 0 0.184 omega BC. And this is equal to minus 1.5 plus by 0 0.224 omega BC. Okay. So what we get over here, minus 0 0.13, will be equal to minus 1.5 plus by 0 0.224 mega BC. Okay. So 1.5 is equal to 0 0.224 plus by 0.13. 0 0.354 omega BC. So omega BC will be equal to 1.5 divided by what? So 1.5, 4.237, and the direction is positive. Means the assumed direction is what? The assumed direction is correct. Okay. So therefore, VC will be equal to 0 0.18. For multiply by omega BC, right? So zero point one eight four times by omega BC, which is four point two three seven. So this is equal to zero point one eight four is equal to zero point seven eight. meters per second. Okay. Clear so far? Anyone, any questions so far? Okay. Now I have something to say regarding the lecture on Monday and a student pick up to me and I did not understand his question, but I went back to my office I realized what he was saying. It was a gentleman right at the rear. Where are you? He's not here today. Yeah, him. Okay. So he's right. I mean, he's not, he's not right. He asked me, VCI and VCJ should have two different values. Am I right? Right? On, on, on the question. So I make an assumption down here. On the example on what? On Monday, I assume that VDI is BDJ. We I make the assumption that this is what? 45 degrees. Okay. So the assumption. So this is this assumption is not true though. Okay. Why this assumption is not true? Remember, I say this is what? Assume. This assumption is not true because the question did not state that what? BDI is equal to BDJ. But when I equate this, okay, when I equate this to solve for a simultaneous equation, basically we are assumed that BDI is equal to what? BDJ. Are we clear? Okay, so that's the assumption. Sorry, I did not get your question on, on Monday, but I want to clear one of this. With that, this is why some of you will ask me, Eugene, then how come we can use what? How come we can use this expression over here? Why this is valid? Any idea? Anyone? Yes. Yeah. That is a what? Boundary what? Condition. Are we clear? So this, this, is a what? 
boundary condition. Are we clear? You know, it's a pleasure of a teacher. It's not my teaching rating at 10. It's when I see you knocking your head, you don't understand how much pleasure I get there. When you guys are like, mm. you know, you know the pleasure that I get to see you guys understand. Or when I see the light bulb, that is a blessing. If, if I still remember when Monday you all were walking out, I see like deers walking out. You know, the 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 before you knock down the deer, that 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 look. Okay, it absolutely displeased me. Okay, so yes. Okay, sorry. I'm a widow in that way, okay? I do apologize, okay? Not that bad, right? By the way, this question, if you look at the textbook, it is the last question on the textbook. If it's the last question on the textbook, what does it mean? The very, the very worst. So that's why I like to show you an example where it's the hardest. When, I, when you do the homework, it is Mickey Mouse crap. Yes or no? No? Yes? Maybe, okay, I, I will show you the words, okay? Right? Likewise, the next course, next course I teach you, I'm also going to show you the words, okay? And good luck. <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. I like to see you guys understand, not, not, not making things like more difficult. Are we clear? Okay, that's why we can. So this over here, uh, our what? Boundary condition imposed. Are we clear? Okay. We could not do this on the previous problem, is because point D can go anywhere, <laughs> right? It can go anywhere and everywhere. You cannot. We cannot restrict unless we 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 put a slider down here. And say this is 45 degrees. By the way, this is, will be a very interesting term test question, isn't it? Hey, where I lock this, this is only 45 degrees, then yeah, it's good. Are we clear? Okay. Right. Going back to our to our question now. So the next part of the question. I will bring this diagram across. So we have a lot of information already. So the next part of the question by looking at the figure, can you see the figure? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll try to do this question quick because I cannot wait to do planetary gears. So we are going to look at piston E now. Okay. So piston D. I'm going to make an assumption. I don't know, okay? I, I don't know whether is it going to go up or come down. I'm going to make the assumption that it's coming down. Okay? Just assume, right? Because if it's wrong, the I and J component, when you're dealing with it, it will give you, it will give you the, 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 the check whether is it right or wrong. So we're going to assume VD is coming down. Okay, we're going to make this assumption. So we have our VD. Okay. Then once again, I believe that this is 45 degrees again. So this is again a boundary condition. Okay. So we know that this will be minus 0 0.707. Uh, let me have more space. Minus uh, 0. 707 BDJ. And this is going towards the right is plus 0 0.707 BDJ. So for piston, okay, for piston, uh, we want to find, so we want to find VD. Okay, but before we go on, when we do piston, D, we are good. the rigid body is important. Yeah, we have to the rigid body is what AD. Okay, so we can write VD will be equal to uh, VA plus omega AD cross R uh, D from point A. 
So again, the unknown 